Hello, beautiful souls. Cancer, this is your general reading for May. Hope you are amazing. Hi, my name is Amber. I'm not on camera today. Sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. But this is your general reading. To get a full picture of your general reading, Moon Rising and Venus, um, check all those out. It gives you a well-rounded energy. If you would like me to read your personal energies, I'll be more than happy to do that. Links in the description box below, or you can go to that website right above. Um, also, I'm giving away something every month this year, so check that out on Instagram or Facebook. And if you want to get these ready super early, you can join me on Patreon. I'm working on other tiers. Bear with me. I'll let you know. I promise. <laughs> But we're going to get started with your oracle card. So we have door to romance, indecision, contract, eagle. It says you will soon soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. We have resilience. There is no need to rush or push. This is a time to take things as they come. You have the determination and patience to handle what is happening and creative endeavor. Okay. So something, you have an event coming up, Cancer, um, and what's interesting is I feel like you need to use your keen sense of understanding and pushing through. Because it feels to me like, you feel like a door is open for something that you want. This could be a relationship, it could be a career, it could be a hobby, it could be clients, okay? And I feel as though the decision is out of your hand, Okay, I do feel like whatever situation you're dealing with has some karma. So this could be a person that has karma that they need to clear up or the situation at hand is not ready to be presented to you in its form for you specifically. Okay, so let's see. We have the Ace of Pentacles. I'm telling you, you have something. Seven of Cups, the Empress, Queen of Cups, Two of Swords, the Hangman, Nine of Wands, Six of Cups, and the Eight of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Wands and the Knight of Wands. This shows me that you are ready to push through a conflict. It's getting really old to you, you know. Um, I just feel like you got a lot of energy towards clearing something up and getting on the straight and narrow path, you know. It's like, I'm tired of all the drama. I just want to get where it is that I'm going. So it looks like you have an opportunity here. A really good opportunity, something that's going to grow. What's interesting is I feel like it's something that's only that way to you. You know, like it's your it's your gold coin. Something that's specifically suited for you. Um if this is a person you're not sure if where they're going to take this? Are they going to agree? Are they not going to agree? Should you look at other options? Because you don't know what direction this is going in. I feel like this person has told you that there may be hope in the future. So you're kind of going off that. But I don't think you have anything right now. It's like it has the potential to grow. It has the potential for something. But because there are still complications, it's not really moving anywhere. But the problem is it has longevity, whatever it is. So I feel like you're being patient with the thing that you want. And I do feel like that's a good look for you. Because emotionally you want to be connected to this. What's interesting is I feel like you should keep your options open. It's not that you should give up on this thing. 
this empress, this person. This could be a person that just fits everything that you want in a person. I don't feel like you should give up on it. I just feel like this is not the time. There's things that need to be cleared up here that you don't see or that you may not understand. But you should continue to be nurturing and caring. Yeah, if you really want this, I will say it's okay to push for it. Um, I feel like over time, things will get better. Over time, things will grow. But don't be so set on what happened in the past and not what's happening in the present. Because this person is still... They're still thinking about something that you have had done to them. So you're going to be proving yourself quite a bit. If you are resilient <laughs> enough to keep pushing through, something will eventually happen. But during this time, it's like conflict and you trying to smooth things over, pretty much. Okay. Yeah, it looks like you're going back to something. So you're trying to heal uh, a situation. And I feel like you went into this situation in the past just willy-nilly, you know, superficially. Like, okay, well, something will happen, it'll happen. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, I don't feel like you were thinking of it in that way before. But it feels to me as something happened to make you realize that it had a bigger impact on your life or it could than you thought originally. I feel like you're trying to keep things lighthearted, friendly. But you're a per this person is dealing with something else or some other thoughts that keeps them away from you at the moment. Yeah, th you are not their number one priority right now. At all. So they're keeping you in this group of the this is the thing that hurt me. I have to pay attention to it. So they're not very open to you. Um... They're not very open to letting you into their life. But if you want to go out for coffee dates or something like that, I feel like it'll be okay if this is a person. So you're obsessed with investing in this situation. I don't feel like you're going to pull away from it. The problem is you're not going to get out of it what you think. Not at this moment. It's going to take longer than you think. Yeah, I feel like everyone's clear and the truth is just revealed um, to everyone about this situation. Yeah, and I feel like that's what's holding everyone back. So if you hurt this person, they still remember that you hurt them. They can't get this out of their head. They're dealing with something that they're trying to separate from, and that is their main focus right now. It could be about building up their finances or their stability within themselves. You know, they're just nose to the grindstone on whatever it is they're focusing on. But there's still a desire to keep pushing through. Yeah, this person's going to keep you at a distance. And honestly, you need to be okay with that for now. Yeah, I feel like things need to change. Things are changing in this person's structure. Okay? They need time to adjust to figure out if this is something that they want to start. So you can be around if you want cancer, but I don't feel like it's going to like pop off right now. 
yeah, it's almost like you finally get to talk or communicate with this person on some sort of normalcy. And, you know, they're still fighting it in their way, but they're letting you in just a tad bit. I feel like you're going to feel some type of way about it and want to push this person or communicate more. Um, I feel like you're going to try to push them. But keep in mind, this is something new. It's not going to be like the past. So you have to leave the past behind because whatever was going on in the past, this person got hurt that way and it didn't work very well for them. So you have to take control. You know, you got to decide if you either want to stay and rough this out without knowing what's going to happen yet or to just let it go. Because this person's not going to come out of their mind Yeah, They're keeping their options open. They, they're trying to figure out where it is that you're coming from. They're having trouble pushing themselves forward with you right now. But they would like to be friends. This, with the will of fortune, I just saw it. Yeah, the will of fortune in reverse, it's just not time. Yeah, this person's not strong enough to handle this right now. Okay, so after quite a few, uh, quite a long time, you may have reconnected with this person. Um, and I feel like you're trying to come at them with everything or they're coming at you with everything. You know, like, um, it's a lot of action. It's a lot of full energy. It's a lot of chariot. I'm pushing through. I'm making this happen. I'm trying to close the gap between us. Or between you and your goals. The thing is, somebody, it, one person's pushing, the other person is put, pulling back. Okay, they're not, they're not seeing yet that this is going to be lucrative, or the start of a new cycle. They don't know yet. You know, they're weighing things out, being discerning, if you will. So what's interesting is I feel like there is an opportunity, like I say, a cancer for things to change, but this is not the time. So this is a warning to be patient. Um, there's still some things that need to be gotten through either in your life or theirs, but this is not the time. So let's see abundance and career. We have highest expression and gratitude. Yeah. So... When it comes to you achieving your goals, money, career, whatever that is for you, be thankful for the ups and downs, okay? Just be just be sure, and this is what I'm saying, Cancer. Be sure that you're doing your best. You don't want shoulda, coulda, wouldas. You don't want your ego to stop you from gaining the things that you desire. You know, do your best. Do your 100% and then be gracious for however it turns out. That's what this is. This is like, just take a chance. Just take a chance. Just push through and see what comes out. Okay? So we're going to do three journaling cards and a to-do card. So we have, how would I describe my relationship with myself in one word? And which one of my mistakes taught me the most this past year and what did it teach me? When have I given too much of myself in a relationship? What did that look like and what lesson did that leave me with? And your card here, it says build someone up. I'm going to have to adjust this. Let's see. I'm going to do it while I'm on camera with you. Okay, let's see if that works. I did not. 
Okay, well anyway, it says build someone up. Pay someone an unexpected compliment today for behavior that often goes unrecognized. It might be the skill, the good cheer of the bagger at the grocery store, the care your partner takes in cleaning the kitchen, or anything else you find. Notice the person's reaction and how our own experience of seeing and commenting on other strengths. So, Cancer, thank you so much for being here. I love you. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.